it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a try-on kind of video for you guys. I recently purchased some items from the Too Faced Sweet Peach line and I thought that I would try them um, on camera for the first time for you guys and share my thoughts and how it looks like on my skin and also because of the theme of the product that it's like peaches, I'm going to be doing um, like a peachy look. So without wasting any more time, let's scoot in closer so that you're closer to my face and can start applying makeup! Woo! Before I begin, I would just like to explain the state of my face. I'm actually doing a foundation review right now and I know that I look really yellow. I apologize for that but I don't want to waste my base makeup and I don't want to waste my setup right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and film this video. I'm going to start with my eyes first and for the eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. This recently launched in Singapore but I actually purchased it, as in my friend helped me purchase it from the US a couple of months back. It's just that I haven't really used it in a video so I thought why not, especially since I purchased some other items from the Peachy Matte or the Peachy line. If you have not taken a look at it, it's really pretty. It's a gorgeous full matte eyeshadow palette and it has all these gorgeous like matte um, matte peachy shades that you can create like a lot of looks with it. I know I'm very extra and I love glitter so I'm really going to challenge myself to um, create a matte eyeshadow look. So the first shade I'm going to take is the shade Peach Meringue and Peach Butter. I'm going to mix these two shades together and apply that on like all over my lid. And then I'm going to take the shade Peach Tea and I'm going to focus that on my crease or in my crease. With the same brush, I'm going to take the shade Just Peachy and I'm going to start building up the peachy shades in like on my eye. So I'm just going to put that um, slightly below where we applied Peach Tea. And again, this is the shade Just Peachy. With the same brush again, I'm going to take the shade Peach Punch and this is where it's going to get really peachy. So I'm going to take that same fluffy brush, dunk it into the shade and I'm going to start building the peachiness of this eye look again and I don't mind it going onto the lids. So I'm just kind of buffing it onto my eyelids as well. Again with the same brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Peach Cobbler and I'm just going to concentrate this on the outer part of my eye. Now that you have built up the peachiness on the eyes, now you're going to add a little bit of light on the inner corners of your eyes to kind of like open it up even more. So by do to do that, I'm going to be taking the shade Peaches and Cream and I'm going to just pack that on the inner half of my eyelid. And if you need, you can actually just use these two shades as well to even to bring even more light on the inner eye corners. Start with peaches and cream first. Just pat the shadow on the inner part of the eye and kind of pat it in between here so just to blend the peachiness to the cream shade. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Peach Butter and I'm going to really just tuck it in to the really part, the inner part of my eye, like right here. With the first blending brush that we used, take the shade Just Peachy and kind of um, reapply the peachy tones that kind of got covered from the uh, light shades that we used earlier. So when you feel like you blended a little bit too much, just don't worry and pack it on again. 
So there should be a really soft gradient between the inner eye corners and out to the darker part of the peachy, the peachy, the peachy part of your eye. Um, and if you want, you can actually take the shade Peach Cobbler and concentrate that on the outer corner of the eye just to add more definition. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to be taking the shade Peach Meringue and I'm just going to pop that underneath the brow. For the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the shade Peach Cobbler and I'm just going to buff that um, on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the shade Just Peachy and also buff it on my lower lash line. And by the way guys, did I mention that the palette really smells like peaches? Like I think it smells even sweeter than the, sweet, the original Sweet Peach palette. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. You can use a black eyeliner if you want. And another thing that I've been recently enjoying is not wigging out my eyeliner because I like that rounded shape. So if you want to wing it out, you can wing out. But for me right now, I'm just going to keep it like um, until where my eye ends. And then I'm just going to apply mascara. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. If you've not tried this, this is amazing. I love it. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be using the new Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I've already set my under eye area, but I'm going to go ahead and use this powder to set the rest of my face. Um, so yeah. Oh my god, this is how it looks like. It's so cute. Um, it just has a peach on it. And yeah, apparently it says it's mattifying, so I think it'll be great for our very hot and humid weather. Oh wow, oh it smells so sweet! And I really love the packaging of the loose powder because it has this little cap over here that kind of like, it's like a Tupperware um, so that your powder doesn't go everywhere when you kind of um, lock the cap. Oh my god, so cute! And the like, the sifter area right, it's actually like in the shape of a peach. Oh, I'm just gonna pour a little bit out on the cap and basically it's, I, I I'm not sure if you can tell but <clears throat> it's like a peachy shade which is really brightening I feel like and um, the texture wise okay, wait, it smells like peaches but texture wise it is quite fine but I have seen finer um, powder but it feels really great though so I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm going to dunk it in swirl my brush a little bit and cap off the excess and I'm going to kind of dust it all over my face like my T-zone okay <coughs> whoa okay the smell can be a little bit overpowering yeah. it can be a little bit overpowering so if you are not someone who likes like scents I don't think this is for you Okay, so my camera just stopped recording, so I don't know where I stopped talking, but I was basically saying that the Peach Perfect Powder, I feel that it really does mattify the skin. I like the packaging, I like the scent, but if you don't tap off your brush, you might be overwhelmed by the scent and you'll be like coughing like I did. But overall, so far, so good. I do have to put it to the test um, longer for me to see how it wears throughout the day, but first impression, all good. On to the next product which is bronzer and if you've been following me for a while you would know that I recently got into applying bronzer on my skin and when I saw this product, this is the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer, I just could not give it up. The packaging is so cute, it looks similar to the Peach Perfect Powder and this is what it looks like on the inside. 
it has this like crisscross kind of thing and it has a matte mix of like matte um, bronzer shade and a little bit of like a highlighty shade and also a little bit of the peach blush in between there so when you swirl your brush inside you're gonna get like this really nice glow um, when you swatch it it doesn't like it's a very subtle bronzy finish it doesn't look too overly glittery or ra um, too radiant or anything which is great so now i'm just gonna use my 13 rushes pro powder brush and bronze my face and because they have like the peachy tones i am just going to concentrate that on my cheeks as well oh my god it's so pretty okay i love it i don't know i just I, I love it oh my god I look like a bronze goddess I do think that my foundation is not the best um, right now because I'm not using a good foundation but oh my god okay, I love this bronzer a lot of the bronzers that I have are all matte so this is my first like radiant or like like glowy kind of bronzer and I'm really excited about it now on to blush to keep on with the peach theme I'm gonna be using a blush called peaches by MAC and I do have the sweet peach blush but it's in my other house so I can't use it on for this tutorial but I think that this blush really suits like the whole eye look also so I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks Oh my god you guys, I am loving this look. Han, how do I look like on camera? On camera? So nice. Oh, thank you. Alright, so I'm really loving this look. Now, the only thing that I need to do is to add my highlighter. But before that, I'm going to douse my face with a little bit of Max Fix Plus. And you guys know what's going to come next and it is highlighter. Today, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. Alright, so I just applied my highlighter while waiting for my camera to cool down. Now, I'm going to finish off the whole look with my lips. Alright, so my lip combo is not working out. So, I'm changing, um, I'm changing it up. That's why my lip is like kind of stained. I'm going to go in with the Retro Matte MAC Liquid Lipstick in Lady Be Good. Right? Yeah. Use my finger and pat it in to blend it out. And then I'm going to go in with my 3CE Velvet Lip Tint in Going Right. And then top it off <clears throat> at the center with Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with how this look looks like. Um, I recommend that if you have something more orange, it'll be better, like more cohesive. But overall, I'm still pretty happy with how this look turned out. Alright guys, so that's the end of my trying on of the Too Faced Sweet Peach products. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Bye! <coughs> okay, let's do that one time. <clears throat> this is the thing about living near the road. You know, you can just hear everything. Stop staring! So awkward. <laughs>